Just fire off with uh, what are you guys emphasizing in a bye week? Coming in here with the defense, what's kind of the, the priority for you guys? What are coaches kind of preaching this bye week? Well, first of all, we got to gotta get our, our body right. Um, got to recover from, you know, the past few uh, seven, seven weeks. And we just got to get our body rights. And we're just uh, taking it step by step, uh, not in a rush or anything. But, yeah, that's, that's where we're at right now. But pretty overall, we're pretty solid. How crucial was it just kind of individually getting that, that time off to rest for you? How, how much more, like, re-energized do you feel right now? Oh, I feel, I feel pretty good. I feel energized um, compared to other days where, like, we just banged up and coming back in practice, which is part of football. But right now, you know, we're just on that part. We're just going to recover and get ready for next week. Did you feel like in, in the Oregon State game you guys were, I didn't want to say, you know, lacked energy, but do you feel like you guys were like a little bit exhausted or fatigued as a team going into that game? Um, everybody plays a crucial role in this game, on, on that game. And we can, um, you know, got to give credits to the Oregon State team too. They came in. Um, they came in with good energy. They were ready to play. Um, I feel like we just had misinformation. Um, we were lacking some details, but that's that's what this week is for. We got to get better from it. So yeah. How would you say the the? I know you guys kind of hang your hat on, on the run defense a little bit, and mm -hmm. obviously had to kind of hit and miss, had some stands and had some some breaks. How, how would you just kind of assess the the run defense in that game against Oregon State and and what could kind of use some work and what looked good? Um, Oregon State had a good game plan coming in. Um, some of the stuff, like a lot, a lot of stuff, like we never seen before. Uh, so it was, it was good game plan by them. Uh, we just needed to execute. It was poorly, I wouldn't say poorly, but we had, everybody wasn't on the same page and it's, it's a fixable thing, so yeah. In, individually, uh, for, for yourself, how, how have you seen yourself make Make strides. Is there any area of the game from from week one to week now that where you feel like, oh, now I understand this a little better. Maybe an area of the game you were having a little bit more trouble with, but now we just got it, got it fully down. Just getting my eyes right. Yeah, that was like a big piece part of the the game. It was just getting my eyes right because if your eyes are right, you know your fits are gonna be right. So yeah. But the linebacker room in general, what have you seen in terms of improvements from from early week to to now and just the way you guys are playing as a unit there? I see a lot of people grow um, in a blink of an eye. You know, you see people grow and make plays out there. So it's 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 a competitive group. Uh, we love physicality and it's something that we we work on every day. So that's that comes down to fundamentals now. So pretty much, yeah. And how have you like the kind of mentioned this a little bit, but the, the energy coming back out to practice now, what what does the vibe of the team feel like now you guys Overall, I know you said kind of feel refreshed. Does it seem like the whole team has kind of got we, that energy back and everything? We try to bring the juice every day. We bring the energy every day. Well, uh, if we lose, we win. We always we, we bring the same energy. The energy never changes. So yeah.